from the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City. This is an OU update with Jason Kersey. I'm Jenny Carlson. Jason, after that second loss uh, to Oklahoma's record, looks like they're out of the national championship picture. That college football playoff will be sooner or less this year unless something crazy happens. Mm -hmm. But let's talk bowls. What in your mind is best case scenario at this point for this team? Well, I think the best case scenario for them would be to get into one of the elite bowls that the college football playoff committee selects. That's the cotton, the peach, um, or the Fiesta Bowl. And, and that seems very unlikely at this point, too. There's, uh, they would need a lot of things to happen. They would need TCU and Kansas State to each lose a couple of games. Um, you know, and it, if they didn't win the Big 12 championship, they'd have to be right there in the mix for it. And I just don't know if they're going to be ranked that high, high enough. So I think really what, what OU fans should reasonably expect is something like the Alamo Bowl, um, or the Russell Athletic Bowl in Orlando. Well, definitely a downer for a team that was, you know, expected to be one of those college football playoff teams uh, when the year started. But is there at least sort of an exciting maybe matchup that could be out there in any of these bowls? I, I mean, I don't know if you can get fired up about the Alamo Bowl at this point, but is there maybe a matchup in one of those bowls that's out there? Well, the, the Alamo Bowl could, could put them up against a, a number of teams. It could put them up against Arizona, Mike Stoops' old team, which would be interesting. Uh, it could put them, uh, I guess some things could happen. They could play Oregon. They mm -hmm. could play uh, um, UCLA, it's teams like that, which I think could be interesting. Stanford, mm -hmm. all of those teams would be, uh, would be interesting. Uh, you know, in the Russell Athletic Bowl, the ACC really outside of Florida State isn't great. I think you're probably looking at something like Duke. Right. Um, you know, they've had a couple of nice seasons, but that wouldn't really be a great matchup for OU. Um, well, it would be a great matchup for OU, actually. But, <laughs> uh, so, I mean, I think that there are chances for exciting matchups. If they got to the Texas Bowl, which is actually a rung below the, uh, the Russell Athletic Bowl, they might play an, an SEC team. There's no telling who that might be. Right. The SEC is so deep that, that it could be a really good team in that bowl. So uh, there's a lot of interesting possibilities. Um, but certainly nothing that, uh, that these fans were expecting. Anything that strikes you that would be a draw for OU fans, either geographically, I mean, you mentioned like the Texas Bowl, some that are close, Alamo Bowls, obviously uh, San Antonio, kind of a destination drive. Is there anything that could really lure fans? I think OU fans have traditionally traveled pretty well to bowls, even when they're not great bowls, and, and even when they're far away. Uh, you know, but uh, definitely, I think that the Alamo Bowl uh, and the the Texas Bowl would both be, and the Cotton Bowl obviously would right. be really good destinations. The Alamo Bowl is also interesting because they've never played in San Antonio before, and that's Trevor Knight's hometown. So I mm -hmm. think that would be an interesting angle as well. All right, thanks, Jason. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.